Hello my friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's reading we're going to be channeling messages from your person, messages from your person's higher self. So maybe you're talking to this person low-key, uh, maybe not, um, but you'll know if it resonates. You know, I always tell people if you're listening to a reading and it's not resonating with you or it's not, you're finding yourself being distracted, having to rewind it, it's very symbolic that it's not speaking to your soul. If your soul wants to sit here and listen, there's a reason, you know? Um, so yeah, let's just see what your person has to say. Like I said, you'll know if it resonates or not. Right away, we have irreplaceable. The way you love can never be matched. So this could be someone who's feeling very much um, like you are an empress or a divine like emperor or empress. So they're looking at you as someone who... You know, nobody else's energy compares to you. No one seems as good as you, as beautiful as you, smells like you. Um, it's a very... I feel like maybe they compare others to you at times. And we have habits. I don't know if we will ever change. So it could have been that somebody here had addictions or habits. Um, you know, even just attachment styles I can see being a thing here. Like maybe... You both have habits when it comes to attachment styles. So anyway, it feels like there are differences between you. Maybe this person does have some bad habits. Um, anyway, that could also be your energy that I'm picking up on. Maybe you don't think this person will ever change. We have missed opportunity. So they're feeling like they should have taken action, you know, they should have been with you when they had the chance. They're looking at you as a missed opportunity here. Um, interesting. So this person could have, you know, failed to reach out to you because or failed to, you know, act when they should have because maybe they had a lot of ego involved, you know, maybe they thought they couldn't be enough for you or that neither of you could change enough. Um, it's you know, a bit of a hopeless energy, a bit of a um, feeling sorry for yourself type of energy. So let's see. There's a message that I cut open to about you don't know everything yet. I feel like this is someone, I'm just looking at the cards. This is someone who tried to move on from you, couldn't. Tried to leave you in the past, couldn't. Um, we also have disagreements. I wish you understood how I feel. So you and this person could have had different habits or attachment styles or, you know, ways of behaving in relationships uh, that cause disagreements. And maybe you couldn't see each other's side of the story because of where you came from. Sometimes we need, like, to be separated, to have clarity and be able to see each other's side of the story. So take it as it resonates, my friends. So let's see what this person wants you to know. Oh, right away, we have soul tie. I always feel connected to you. All roads lead back to you. The Arkells, all roads, look it up. And we have holding back. So this person is holding back. They did hold back in the past, you know, possibly because of fear, because of ego. Possibly because they had other responsibilities, you know, maybe they have kids, maybe they wanted to improve first, maybe they had responsibilities through work, you know, and couldn't focus on love. Um, take it as it resonates. So what does your person want you to know? Yep. So interesting. We're getting reveal. I want to tell you the truth. And this is the energy of like a breakthrough moment. This person wants to communicate with you. It's also, you know, to me, it's the energy of someone coming out of hermit energy, showing you the light, showing what they've reflected on, bringing something to light, you know, possibly telling you that they feel like they missed their chance with you, that they're looking back and they see, you know, that there was something really special there. We have broken. I feel shattered about this situation. 
And this could be somebody, you know, we saw that card about them holding back. So I feel like they're not showing this. I feel like they're not showing that they're broken and shattered. I feel like maybe they're even appearing like they're okay, but they still think about you as this missed opportunity. You know, at the end of the day with that soul tie card and the all roads lead back to you. I just see someone who at the end of the day, you're the one that's in their mind as they're falling asleep, you know? Your person could be British because I feel shattered. I feel shattered about this situation. <laughs> so let's see what else your person wants you to know. Overwhelmed. Okay then, all right then. <laughs> so this person wants you to be a part of their future. Look at this commitment. So they do feel hierophant energy with you. For some of you, maybe this person is already in a commitment and perhaps, you know, this was a commitment they entered before meeting you. This could have even been after meeting you. Um, I'm not saying marriage specifically could be, but it's overwhelming them. You know, if this person has to make a choice between you and someone else, it does drain them thinking about it because I think they want to choose you. Um, it could be... For reasons you don't know that they've chosen this other person or that they continue to stay with that other person you know i feel like maybe this person puts on a front we have regret i wish this never happened um lord of the rings could be symbolic because i keep uh, i just heard a quote from lord of the rings so that could be symbolic for someone um i was hearing i think it was when Frodo says, I wish the ring had never come to me. Um, and Gandalf says, so do all people who experience such things or whatever it was that he said. Anyway, um, this person, 10 of wands energy. So feeling very stressed out. This could even be them worrying, you know, that you're going to move on before they have a chance to tell you how they feel about you. We have, we are both hurting from this and I felt like you didn't care so it does show that this person is still hurting from this like I said appearances can be deceiving and maybe this person thinks that you are fine you know maybe this person thinks you've moved on you could be looking really good right now and maybe they feel like you no longer have an interest in them this I felt like you didn't care you know this could be right now it could also be that in the past, this person felt like you didn't care about them. Uh, maybe because, you know, of the way things ended between you. It's also very symbolic, again, that I could be picking up on your energy. That you felt unappreciated by this person. And that's also symbolic of mirroring. So, you know, if you were someone who felt like this person didn't give you enough time, didn't appreciate you, took you for granted. It's possible that... You know, I'm not saying that this was actually what was happening, but they could have been feeling that themselves. Um, kind of feeling sorry for themselves, you know? I'm not saying that you didn't appreciate them. I'm saying that it feels like this person may have projected some of that onto you is what I'm hearing. So we do have indecisive, so you could be dealing with someone who has to make a choice who is indecisive or, you know, doesn't know how to move forward. Let's just get a few more. Okay. We have, I mess up the good things in my life, sometimes self-sabotage. And I feel like that's, you know, your person self-sabotaged here a bit. Your person could be a father. I'm just noticing father's, I think it might say father's daughter there, but I'm just called to the word father, um, parent. And we have holding back. So this person may have held back, you know, I'm seeing that card. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. And we have confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. So there's a lot of, I feel like this person may be waking up, if I'm being honest. It feels like, it kind of feels like they're on the verge of a breakthrough to me with this confusion and overwhelm, and it feels like they're hitting rock bottom. 
Let's see. One, two, three, four more cards. Four more cards. We have Chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. So it could be... I, I don't... I think that might be you that I'm picking up on with the Chaser energy. Um... I mean, maybe this person has chased you, but I'm not getting that vibe. I feel like maybe you chased them and you decided you didn't want to chase them anymore. And perhaps that's when stagnancy began, you know? Um, we also have understanding. I see your side of... Look, sign. Didn't I say? I just said I was seeing that in my mind. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. So we have someone who finally understands your side, whatever happened, but they're afraid it's too late to take action. So they're just kind of sitting on it, you know, and it's, they're ruminating about it. And it's like, that has to, imagine like a bottle being shaken. That's kind of what it's like. It's like the more clarity they have and the more realizations they have, the more their urge to crack the can of that, the lid of that pop can but something's stopping them and they feel they can only do that for so long before they have a meltdown or a breakthrough or a breakdown. Interesting. Look, our love is always there despite the distance. So you and this person could be at a distance from each other. Wally, please stop scratching. My love, please. Interesting. That could be symbolic. Maybe your person's trying to figure out a way to <laughs> get back in your life. I, I wanted to say claw their way back in, but <laughs> two more. And that's what I mean. Sometimes that four of swords energy for clarity is needed and we have it here. I feel like a part of me is missing without you absence. So Four of Swords energy was needed in order for this person to have clarity. They know they didn't express themselves right, but look, I still feel like they're holding back here. They want to reveal something to you. They want to whip out whatever this is they're holding behind their back. I'm going to get three more, I think. Just give me three more, Spirit, for some clarity. Can we please get some clarity about this situation? Three more cards. I already knew that one. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. There could be third party interference. I did see that card pop out. We have hope and one more. What are you? Indecisive. So yeah, this person is kind of back and forth, I see. I'm kind of seeing them as like in two of pentacles energy. Kind of, you know, looking at their options, trying to figure out what to do. This could be someone who's terrified that you'll reject them if they reach out. And maybe they're not in a stable enough place to put themselves out there. Um, anyway, we have hope. I haven't given up, hope, given up hope on us yet and indecisive. So I do feel like the stagnancy comes from your person's side. But, you know, deep down they still have hope for this. You could still have hope for this, you know. So we're going to go to tarot and see what this person wants you to know we're just going to look at their feelings about you so let's do a shuffle i was going to mention on the bottom of the deck we have the knight of pentacles so the knight of pentacles is a very slow moving energy but it's also someone who's determined to you know have success here and we also have the four of wands and the queen of pentacles so to me it feels like this person could be younger than you um, because we do have Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. But to me, it feels like you're sitting in your power here, possibly, you know, ready for stability. And I feel like they're still on their way is what I'm hearing. They're still on the journey. They're still working on themselves. We do have Three of Wands, Forward Movement. Beautiful. So it's like they want to reveal something to you here. They want to come towards you. And they see you as part of their future, commitment card we also have the wheel of fortune here so what happens when somebody i don't know if you can see the lantern on that reveal card or if it's behind the plant but what happens is when somebody comes out of hermit energy with their lantern and says here's my truth that's when the wheel turns the wheel of fortune 
So it does look like there's a turning point coming in this person's energy. One more shuffle. Okay, let's cut the deck and see what your person wants to say to you. We have Queen of Wands, so there could have been, for some of you, there could have been um, third-party interference. I'm not picking up on it like a huge amount, but I want to mention it. Um, with this Queen of Wands, it's also very symbolic of this person possibly feeling like intimidated to approach you. Um, they are seeing you as a queen, so it feels like they've put you on a pedestal of some sort, whether it is the whether or not it's that you're older, it's just this energy of feeling like they're not good enough for you. And when that happens, you know, I heard something this morning that the emperor doesn't take action if they feel like there's potential of being rejected or there being somebody else. Um, so if this person has you up on a pedestal, it feels to me like they have some growing to do so that they feel okay approaching you, but we'll see what comes up. So this person, as far as how they're feeling about you, Queen of Wands, um, you're glowing, you know, you're looking radiant, you're looking confident, you're looking independent, you know, you don't need them is what they're seeing. So how is this person feeling about you? Strength. So I was talking about their ego here and I do feel like they struggle with their ego and their inner confidence when it comes to coming towards you. We have five of wands. So this person does feel conflicted um, within their, like, within themselves about coming towards you. Are they good enough? Um, can they, you know, make things right here? And I do feel like they struggle with their ego. The eight... The strength also shows a very strong connection, you know, one of like an unexplainable bond that the two of you share. We have the nine of wands for how they're feeling about you. And remember how, um, actually, no, I didn't say it in this reading. It was another reading, but I was saying queen of wands. And sometimes in the queen of wands, you see a black cat. And I think that they're feeling like you have your boundaries up, you know, they're feeling like maybe they wounded you. Um, we do have this person feeling the nine of wands is about hope and determination. So it feels like this person still has hope and determination for this. You know, the nine of wands is about wanting to fight for this, but I can see how they're looking at you. You know, they're kind of looking at you as this feminine, independent, confident, self-improved, feminine, doesn't, it doesn't mean gender, in black cat energy. So it's kind of like, to me, it kind of looks to me like you know your, what you deserve and you know that you deserve better than, you know, these scars and things. We also have five of swords on the bottom. So for how they feel about this, they want to heal, um and fix whatever happened. They want resolution here. Three of Cups. We'll get one more for how they're feeling about you. We have the Hermit. And that's what I was talking about with that reveal card, remember? So this person is reflecting a lot. They're, you know, all roads lead back to you. And this is someone who wants to reveal to you what they've been thinking about. We have the King of Swords here. So this is someone who's looking at this clearly wanting to speak some type of truth to you. You know, they feel like they owe you an explanation. Um, the star, you know, for how they feel about you, that shows you're their guiding light. You know, hermit energy. You've kind of been a guiding light on this healing journey to them and they haven't been able to let you go and it looks to me like they want to bring healing and clarity and truth to this um let's leave that there let's get their intentions current intentions king of pentacles and remember in the beginning knight of pentacles four of wands queen of pentacles you know so to me very symbolic that this person 
does want long term with you, does want four of wands with you, but they're seeing you as someone they need to meet you at your level. You know, this is someone who intends to come back in in King of Pentacles energy and invest in this. And the King of Pentacles is someone who can protect and provide for you. So let's say, I know it doesn't matter, but let's say you earn more money than this person and this person feels self-conscious about that. This person's intentions are to work on their finances before investing in this because they want to be able to protect and nurture you. And I know that sounds like materialistic, um, but that's this person's intentions, you know? We have the Eight of Pentacles renewal. So their intentions are to have, to choose this connection and work on it with you. The Eight of Pentacles can be a soul connection that two people choose, you know? I'm hearing they want to invest in this. I just feel like this person doesn't, like that card said, they're unsure about where you stand and they're unsure about how to renew this is what I'm hearing. Let's get one more for intentions. We have Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands. That's, this is a stable foundation. I think it's interesting because I hear a truck beeping, which talks about a truck backing up, which talks about a truck backing up. What am I talking about? That's what it freaking means. Stop being ridiculous, Kelly. <laughs> symbolizes this <laughs> anyway to me that's symbolic of someone like what I want is back there let me back it up <laughs> anyway page of pentacles and I just got um I'm turning very red and I'm feeling very warm look at intentions here you guys page of pentacles stable offer stable new beginning fresh chapter and we have the four of wands so their intentions are proposal here and look, Queen of Pentacles. So they want to match your energy. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. So their intentions are to commit to you. It's right here. Wow. Let's see what action they will take. We have the Ace of Pentacles. There is that offer, my friends. There's the, the Pentacle. That's a stable offer. That's a gift. That's an offer to meet up. That's an offer to talk. And that's a stable offer. Um, page of one. So this person does take action towards you with a pentacle. What that pentacle means is going to differ for some of you. I want to see what this pentacle is about. Let's see their actions. Ace of pentacles. Look, knight of pentacles, magician. So I feel like this is someone who, you know, is working on themselves right now, working up the courage to communicate with you. And it could be that when they come in, they come in very slowly with a pentacle. And perhaps, you know, I feel like that's, what am I trying to say here for actions? We have the six of swords. So what I was going to say is this person might come in Knight of Pentacles with a pentacle saying like, oh, do you want to talk or do you want to get together? Like maybe they say they just want to talk about things for closure. And I feel like it's more than that, you know? I feel like it's about this renewal, but perhaps they're not quite sure how to approach it. So they approach it very, it's like a small step in the right direction. It's like a foot in the door. It's it's them trying to make something happen with you. You know, they're trying to make something happen for the good here. They're trying to reconnect with you. Ten of Cups. So it could be that, you know, at first when they start talking to you, they leave out some of the heavier stuff. Not because they're avoiding it, but because they're testing the waters is what I'm trying to say. All right, let's see the near future of this connection. Near future. Oh, you just fell on the floor. We have the Ace of Wands. So there it is, movement, you know? It's that inspiration to make a move. It's that Ace of Wands can also be a, like a realization and the action that comes after that realization. Like, And when I say realization, I'm really talking about a spiritual awakening. We have many. 
Um, a lot of people, muggles, just call them realizations or epiphanies. <laughs> Um, let's see what is keeping this person from reaching out. What is keeping this person from reaching out? We have Ace of Cups. So lack of self-esteem, lack of self-worth. Um, we also have Ten of Pentacles. So perhaps this person does have responsibilities, like family responsibilities. What's keeping them from reaching out could be um, them wanting to be able to offer you long-term stability, like I said. So this could be someone very focused on their work right now. Maybe they don't feel like they have enough pentacles to be stable. Um, and also family opinion, ten of pentacles. So it could be the opinion of their children, the opinion of their parents. Take it as it resonates. Um, what advice do you have for my viewer? About this connection, Eight of Wands, communication is coming. Two of Wands, expect communication. This person is in Two of Wands energy, so they're like, they're looking at how to approach this. And Spirit's saying there's rapid change and growth happening right now, and this, this message is coming. Um, Two of Wands, this person figuring out how to approach you right now, hanged man energy. And I feel like they're going to approach you differently here. I want to see what your person's higher self wants you to know. What does their higher self want you to know? Oh, their higher self. Their higher self is saying they want to end the separation with you. They want forgiveness. But just like this card says, this is someone who still has confusion. You know, they're still reflecting on this. For some of you, this person may need a bit more time to reflect and to gain clarity. Seven of Swords, this is someone, they're telling you they're coming out of this energy. They're going to stop running from this. They're going to come into the light. But for me, I'm hearing I need a bit more time, you know, to clear my head. Um, this person wants you to know that they see you very clearly. Um... But to me, they're just, there's a delay in them coming towards you because there's still some confusion there in their own energy. It has, you know, it's not your fault. Let's see the potential outcome of this connection. We have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is beautiful. It's a very generous, loving connection. I actually want to get one more card. Ten of Cups, beautiful. And I dropped a card. What is it? Two of Swords in reverse, the end of stagnation. So we see this person coming out of stagnation with an offer of love. Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. Beautiful. So let's get some channeled messages from your person. It's interesting. We're having a heat wave right now and I'm getting hotter by the second. <laughs> so... I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some channeled messages from this um, <laughs> twin flame deck. I do I like the messages in this deck. So let's see. We have that one. That's what they're are you kidding me? That was what their the message from their higher self was. Two of Wands, you know, that they're changing their approach, they're changing their pattern and coming towards you. What does your person want to say to you? What does your person want to say to you? this I've been learning about twin flames it feels right to me so this could be someone who's looked up like why can't I let go of this connection why do I feel a soul attraction to this person why do they pop into my dreams why have I not been able to let them go my ego is 
fragile to criticism and rejection. I've protected, or I've created walls to protect myself. That's that Ace of Cups, lack of self-esteem. I've been learning about twin flames. It feels right to me. I want to hold you in my arms and feel our bodies unite as one. I'm hearing a song, but I can't figure out what song it is. I'm going through physical, emotional ascension symptoms. I need space to rest, but from a higher perspective, I'm releasing old energy. I'll contact you when I'm able to. Right now, my life is too complicated to bring you into it, but know that I do want to talk to you. You show up in my dreams. It helps me process buried memories. I'm not happy. Karma, behaviors, people, and or situations are playing, in a, playing a role in what's happening with me, and it's hard for me to see a way out. Our love will manifest through the union of heart and mind. Expanding these areas allows our love to grow. Don't be, connect, don't be tempted to disconnect from source. Our connection to source is the love and healing we require for union. So if you really do hope for this person, try not to disconnect from that belief and that surrendering. You know, they say separation is an illusion. And once you disconnect from source and you stop believing in it and you let fear take over, it kind of creates resistance between you and this person. I feel our energy merging together as if it has a life of its own. We are becoming one again. So maybe you're even picking up on this person's energy. I'm beginning to focus on my mission and our connection is a part of that. So this person could even have a mission that they're supposed to play out before the two of you come into union, you know? That's a soul contract, you know? You guys made a soul contract before you came to this lifetime to accomplish and teach each other, to accomplish things and to teach each other very important lessons before coming together in union. I can't validate our love in the 3D until I understand our spiritual love in the 5D. Give me time to explore this aspect so that I can be a strong spiritual partner for you. So this could even be someone who's exploring spirituality now that they've, you know, Googled what you mean and they've seen the word soulmate, twin flame. Um, this could be someone who's learning about the 5D. Clear the illusions of the 3D world. Don't take everything at face value. There's a lot more going on spiritually and energetically than you can see. And that's like, it's drilled and hammered into us that if we can't see it, it doesn't exist, which is not the truth. Whatever you just cleared helped me to shift too. Fact. We are one. Don't let fear get in the way of this truth. And fear, fear can really create resistance in your life if you give it power. I've never felt a love like this before. The depth of it can be inspiring, but also overwhelming. And the first card out for how they felt about you, strength card. That's exactly what that is. I've never felt like this before. I care about you even when I act like I don't. I'm hiding my true feelings because I feel vulnerable. I want to let my guard down with you, but fear makes me lash out in self-defense. We incarnated together to clear specific patterns from our ancestral bloodlines. Oh, I already read that. I'm changing this pattern and moving forward. Beautiful. And we have, you think I'm not listening to you, but I am. I hear everything you say and even replay our conversations in my head. And I have to keep it balanced. So I'm taking the top one off the deck. Our energy, our union energy needs clearing. Repeat this 11 times with slow, deep breaths. And listen, if you are someone who hears me say, repeat this with slow, deep breaths, I'm sorry, please forgive me. And you're someone who's like, I don't have anything to be sorry about. That is a blockage. Um, how can I explain that? It means that you still have unresolved resentments towards this person you know because if you know you have nothing to be sorry about then you shouldn't have any problem saying this out loud and giving like sending that energy to your person so that they can apologize to you like I'm not saying you have anything to be sorry about this is about connecting with their higher self 
And you know, when you say this, when you repeat this 11 times with slow, deep breaths, and you think about your person, it's supposed to, because you're connected, it's supposed to cause them to start thinking about how sorry they are and how much they love you. That's the whole point. Um, anyway, I'm say this 11 times. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you, I'm grateful for you. All right, so now let's get channeled messages from your person. So what does your person want to say? I'm getting some interesting cards. I can't stop thinking about you. I'm seeing the synchronicities and it's driving me insane. So this is telling me that they're seeing people who look like you. Your favorite song, your favorite color, your name, things that remind you of them. It's like the universe is throwing it at them. I'm learning how to love myself now thanks to you. I want a second chance. Not being with you is killing me. I'm. All, this is the interesting one. Because remember what was holding this person back. Ten of pentacles. And we... For, so for some of you, there's kids involved. I'm only staying here for my kids. Nothing else. I'm making my way out. And again... I think there's a lot of people who judge situations like that. I used to be one of them. And why shouldn't someone choose what's best for their soul and their heart, even if they have kids, you know? And it takes a lot of strength to choose yourself in that type of situation. It's not an easy thing to do. I ghosted you because it was getting too intense. I don't let people in my life easily because I have trust issues. I love variety, but there is something about you I just can't resist. That irreplaceable, you know? And let's get one more. Those just kind of fell out. I'm not happy in my current situation. I'm miserable without you. Let's get... I'm still not done. Spirit wants more. Let's just get a couple of these ones. I'm gonna get these hidden truth ones. So we'll see what comes out. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. I watch your social media. Whoops. You broke my heart. So maybe you, you know, Maybe you left this person because they were so indecisive. I don't know how to feel. Confusion. I see life differently now. Clarity. I see a pattern. I know you don't feel the same. Fear. Ace of Cups. That fear that you were going to reject them or that you don't feel that way about them anymore. So... My friends, that is your reading, messages from your person. Hopefully that resonated. I am sending you lots of love and light, my friends, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.